Hi, I'm Vicki. Welcome back to She Makes Buttons. Today I am going to show you how I converted my A6 planner into a coupon cash envelope type wallet. If you're interested in that, please stay tuned and I will show you super quick how I did it. The first thing I did is take some scrap paper that matched the planner and I made some folders with little tabs so I can hold my coupons and my receipts in them. Uh, they are going to measure for this particular planner 7 and 5 6 by 6 and 5 6 inches. And I have like a little space of one quarter inch that I am going to score just slightly because that is the size of the tab that I am going to make for the little folders and the dividers. Then what I'll do next is I'm going to go ahead and fold this page up to the score line. So it will be folded in half, but leaving a little bit of paper at the top, which should measure one fourth of an inch that we're going to use for our tab that we're going to put the label on to say what it is. And since I do want my tabs to sort of line up across all of my little pouches and my dividers, then I am going to use one that I've already made just to trace an outline of where I want my next one to be. So they're not overlapping or the wrong size and that sort of thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and trace that and then I'm going to cut off that from that score line but leaving the little tab available. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and cut these and then after I get this cut then I will go ahead and use just regular scotch tape to seal up the sides. I did laminate some of these previously and I didn't like the way that I didn't feel like I had enough room in the, in the pouch. It's like the lamination didn't allow me to stuff it full of coupons. I was limited on what I could use. And with the scotch tape, I feel like it gives it more give. So you can really stuff these full of coupons if need be. So I just go ahead and use the scotch tape to seal these up now. And since they are made of very strong scrapbook paper, I use the thicker paper for this project. They should last fairly long. I'm thinking, but even if it splits open, you can just use another piece of scotch tape. No big thing. So I used my label maker to make a label for this pouch or pocket, whichever you want to call it. And I'm going to go ahead and do that with my other dividers as well. I have four different categories currently. One of them is going to be receipts. The other is going to be coupons with a little pouch that says CRT and CRTs are the computer sorry the cash register tape receipts and those are the receipts that either will print on your receipt after you're done shopping or if you go to CVS they're the um, those tapes that come out of the red box so sometimes I don't use those straight away and I want to go ahead and have those in that little pouch for future shopping trips. I have a divider that is going to be called forecast and one that is called inventory. The inventory is going to be what I have on hand because there's sometimes that I'll go to the store, maybe they'll have chicken on sale, let's say, and I'll be like, ooh, I can go ahead and jazz up my grocery list, I can get this chicken, Maybe I can make enchiladas. Do I have the stuff at home for it? And if I look at my inventory list, then I'll know 
exactly what I have and what I can do with that and maybe be able to get more meals out of that grocery trip and out of that amount of money for that paycheck for that shopping trip, if that makes sense. Forecast is a tab that I have that I will use for future shopping trips. So let's say I know that Labor Day, Memorial Day, those are big barbecue holidays. They're going to have condiments on sale. They're going to have meat on sale, hot dogs, hamburgers, chips, sodas, that sort of thing. So I'll know that I can forecast that, save my coupons for those types of deals. So like let's say you have mayonnaise on sale for two fifty, you have a two dollar coupon, you're gonna get it for fifty cents because you thought about that, you planned ahead. And then also in the forecast are things that I know that I'm going to need in the future. And so I can start eyeballing and looking for those to be on sale to stock up my pantry. My last tab is one that's called today. And actually it's not a tab, it's a folder. And that is going to be for coupons that I'm actually using during this trip to the grocery store. So I'm not fumbling through all of my coupons, holding up the line or anything. I base it off of what is on my grocery list, what I know I'm going to 100% purchase, and I have those already pulled out. So then when I get to the register, I'm already ready. I just hand them to her or him, and then boom, it's done. And the, one of the reasons why I have my receipts folder is I like to keep all of my receipts together so when I come home, then I can go ahead and scan them into my rewards apps, such as um, Huggies, Ibotta. I have um, a couple of other ones that I can't think of off the top of my head, but I have them on my phone. And then, <coughs> excuse me, then when I make a purchase, I can get rewards back, such as for Huggies. I have the Huggies app since I buy my grandson's diapers, and I will go ahead and scan that receipt into that. Huggies gives me points and rewards. I will take that same receipt, scan that into Ibotta, and they gave me cash rewards for it. And then the third app, um, it's something with a dog on it. Oh my gosh, and I can't even think of what the name of that is, but it'll come to me in a minute. Uh, I can scan that one too, and where they may not accept the receipt for the Huggies, they wanted something else on that receipt, which was, um, I think about coffee, and so they gave me credit for the coffee. So just because you scan your receipt into one app doesn't mean you can't scan your receipt over and over again in other apps. You can use it in every single one of them in order to get more rewards and more credits. Oh, Fetch is the one with the dog. That's the, the other app, Fetch. But I will have all of those links and um, apps in my next video, which is going to be couponing the basics. I don't want to count, say couponing 101, but it's basically you want to start couponing. You're thinking about it. You've done nothing. So it's just, let's just get started. Here's what you need to do. And that will be my follow-up video to this video. So if you're interested, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it. And I will go ahead and be posting that probably... Um, tomorrow or the next day, within the next 48 hours at least. But okay, so I've gotten all my tabs done. You saw me do all of that. And I've used my label maker to make all of my labels. Now what I want to do is show you how I made that little CRT pouch. And what I did is take a piece of scrap paper, cut it down to um, four and a quarter by three three and a quarter I believe and what I want to do is do little accordion scores on each end and then on the bottom so at one fourth of an inch I'll do a score one half of an inch and then three fourths of an inch a score on both sides and then the same thing on the bottom 
And then what I'm going to do is where the corners match or meet up down at the bottom, where those scores meet up, we're going to cut those squares out. And then that way we can fold this up and it's not really thick and bulky. And this part is the tricky part, is folding on each one of those score lines. And you want to fold it in one direction, flip it over, fold it in the other, flip it over, fold it in the direction you did the first time, like an accordion fold. And then that way, when you have your little pouch taped to your folder, it's going to lay flat until you put something in it. And then once you start putting things in it, it'll open up and expand for you. Now, once you have all of your folds created, you can go ahead and use your tape. So you can tape it down to either a divider or another folder. And then you can go ahead and use your bone folder to go ahead and press it down really well and make sure that you get into those folds and press it so you can get a really good bond between your little pouch that you just created and your divider. And you can see in this sample here, you get a really good opening and a really good pouch. If you do a lot of shopping and you get a lot of CRTs, you might want to consider expanding the amount that you use on the accordion side of it. Just add a few more inches to either side of your scrapbook paper and just make that larger. I don't personally do that much shopping with the CRTs, so the one that I made is a sufficient size for me. So now I have all of my tabs and my folders. Let's go ahead and put our planner together. While I was looking through my stash, I found this little notepad, which will fit perfectly on the back of this planner. So. I'm going to go ahead and use my double-sided tape and tape this down. And I think that I got this at Hobby Lobby, probably on clearance a couple of years ago. And so originally it was $2.49, so I bet I picked it up for probably $0.49. Cents. And um, it's just been sitting here, so I'm glad that I found a space for it. But this will be good to just keep notes while I'm there at the store or making a list or that sort of thing. And with the double-sided tape, it should hold very well in this area. But if it's perfect, look at that. Woohoo! And then when I used to use this for my budget planner, I had these little pages that I will probably continue to use here. And they just list the description of what I bought, how much I spent, um, the category and that sort of thing. And that was for my cash envelopes. And I will probably, when I get back to using cash after COVID, then I'll use those again. But right now during the COVID, I'm just using um, a card. So I can go ahead and just use an alcohol wipe, keep the card clean and not be transferring um, so many germs on cash. So I found some Happy Planner stickers with roses on them in my stash. So I'm going to go ahead and decorate my planner with these roses. I think that they are going to look really pretty and add a little bit of something something to the planner. So it's not so just pink and boring. And then I'm going to add a little one on the tab as well. That looks really cute. Um, and then inside where those little card holders are, that's where I'll put my um, reward cards, my Costco card, the debit card that I'm going to use for groceries. Because I do have a couple of different checking accounts. And one account gets money in it just for groceries. And um, since I'm not using the cash right now, so that's going to work well. So for the tabs that I put in, 
um, and my folders. The first one was the coins. So when I do get back to the cash, I'll have a coin zipper pouch. The next one is for my gift cards, and I'll add vinyl to that later that says gift cards. And then I have my forecast list with paper. No, I don't. That's inventory. So I'll do my inventory with the papers and then my forecasting with papers. Because I think that's how I did my tabs. <laughs> so. And then the next one that's going to go in is my receipt folder. Where I'm going to store all of my receipts. And then um, once the month is over. And I know that I've scanned them all. I've recorded them all. I'm not returning anything. Then I will go ahead and get rid of them. And then my future coupons, my future CRTs folder goes next. And then my today folder. And again, these are the coupons that I am going to use with my shopping visit today. And then lastly, I have my cash envelope for my groceries. That's a check that my grocery store sent me. They send me a check each quarter based on how much money I've spent with them, kind of like a rewards. So um, that's in there to use today so I don't forget it. And like I said, I'm not going to be using cash during COVID. I'm just going to be using that debit card linked up to that um, bank account that's only for groceries. But that's the folder and I think that this is going to work out so much better for me with my couponing so let me do a really super fast flip through with you one more time so you can see it all put together so we have our groceries tab for our cash our today coupons our future coupons and CRT we have our receipt folder we have our forecast tab and pages behind that for our forecasting we have our inventory tab and pages behind that for inventory, our gift cards, and the coins zipper pouch. And then we have that little notepad on the back. I do hope that you enjoyed watching this video and that it inspired you to make your own little coupon planner. Like I said, um, I'm going to be filming a coupon basics video within the next 48 hours and uploading that. So if you want to watch that or are interested in coupons, please hit that subscribe button, like this video, and I will see you again soon. Take care.